Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Calais. I'm a student at the University of Toronto's 12-week coding bootcamp. So today we'll be going over the module 18 NoSQL social network API. You can see my documentation and read me here. And we're going to be going into insomnia in a moment. But first, right off the bat, we're going to start our local host server 3001. I'm going to use Nodemon. Now that our server is up and running, I'm just going to show that my work is presented in MongoDB Compass. Let me just quickly refresh. We can go to our thoughts. You can see our thoughts are there. We can go to our users. You can see all our users are there as well. So now we'll continue the walkthrough using Insomnia. Perfect. Here you can see my folders for my project. I have my friends folder, my user folder, my reactions folder, and my thoughts folder. So now that we have everything open, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click find all users. Find all users is gonna present all the users in our current social media network database. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going over to friends. I have my add friends set up and my delete friends set up. As you can see, there's currently two friends listed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete one of the friends out of the counter. It's just reloaded. I'm gonna to go to find users, click send. And now I currently have one friend less for Thos1. Now we're gonna to go to add friend, set up the relevant friend ID. Now we're gonna click send. It's gonna go back to two. I'm gonna click find all users. I'm gonna click send. Now we can see that Thos1 has been updated and he has two friends listed. I have him adding himself because he's a bit of a narcissist and I have Thos2, or actually that is Thos3 added to his friends list. Now what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be going into the user folder. So I'm gonna click find all users again just to make sure refresh is reloaded. I'm going to create three new users. I'm going to create SSJ01, and here's the email. As you can see, it's presented in the preview. Find all users, refresh. He has been added. I'm gonna be doing the same with SSJ2. He has an SSJ2 email. Once I click send, you're gonna see it load here in the preview. Any day now, Insomnia. Thank you. It's not like I'm filming a video. Jeez. All right. Now I'm going to go to create user three. For SSJ3, I click send, and it's going to load up here in the preview. He has an ID and everything. Now I'm going to go click find all users, and I'm going to send. As you can see, all of our three new users, SSJ01, SSJ02, and SSJ03, have been added to our find all users database. Now what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to find a user by ID. I've currently used one to find a previous client, so let's try a new one. I'm going to find SSJ3. Find user by ID. Paste into the HTTP, click send, and SSJ3 is now loaded in the preview. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update the user. So currently, as you can see, once I go to find all users, we have a Joey2 listed here. What we're gonna be doing is we are going to be updating Joey2 to Joey2.000. This is a previous example, so just ignore that. And here's what's happening when I hit send. This is the result, Joey 2.000. I click find all users. I click send. Joey has been updated to Joey 2.000. Now I have to test the delete user. So let me ensure that I have the correct one. I'm gonna copy this. 
I'm going to go to delete user. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to click send. User deleted successfully. Just a reminder, this was Joey. So when I click send, we will no longer see Joey 2.000. And just like that, he's gone. Now we'll be moving on to get all thoughts in the thoughts folder. I'm going to click send. I'm going to get all the current thoughts in the database. You can see here that this one has a reaction count of three. And if I wanted to search this one, I will simply go to the top, get this thought, and put it up here, click send, and you can see the thought is presented in the preview, and then all the reactions which have occurred on this thought are presented with it, with a reaction count. Now, if I wanted to update this thought, I'll click this. As you can see, I've already put the ID in the top. This is a previous example with yup2222. Now I'm gonna be doing sus, 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 sus with thos, and I'm gonna click send. As you can see, it's been updated in the chain. I go to get all thoughts. I click send. Right here, it has been updated. Still same reaction count. Now I'm going to be doing create thought. So here I have thought test 01.01 .01 for username thos. I'm going to click send. As you can see, the preview is going to give us our results. I'm going to go to create thought two. As you can see, thought test 02.02. .02. This one's thought to test to, and its username is thos. So when I click send, our results come into the preview. I click get all thoughts. I click send. As you can see, two new thoughts have been added into the database. And if I wanted to delete a thought, Let's delete thought test 02.02 .02 by thos, which was just made. So we're gonna copy the ID. We'll go to delete thought by ID. We're simply going to paste it into the search bar. Then we're gonna click send. And it presents us with the thought that we just deleted. I go to click get all thoughts. And before refreshing by hitting send, we ensure that we see the thought that we deleted. Remember this one? Now watch what happens when I click send. That thought is no longer with us. That was thought test 02.02. .02. Now we'll be moving on to the reactions. I'm going to go to create reaction. Here we have a reaction. This reaction says World Star, and it's by username SSJ03. Here's all the current reactions on this thought. Now since I updated that thought, and when I click send, it's going to present all the new relevant data, and this reaction is going to be added. As you can see, World Star by username SSJ3 has been added. We have now a reaction count of four. If I go to get all thoughts, you can see there's currently no SSJ3. So when I hit send, and that reaction count of three is going to increase, and it is going to go to four because we have that new reaction on our thought. Would you look at that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete World Star SSJ3 thought, or sorry, reaction to the thought. My apologies. I'm going to select the ID. I'm going to go to remove reaction. I'm 
I'm going to paste in this new one up here. And then you can see this is the old chain. So when I click send, it'll present the new chain where it has the sus, 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 sus. And it has these three old reactions. And then would you look at that? The fourth one has been deleted. And we can see that by going to get all thoughts. And we can see that the fourth reaction is still here with a reaction count of four on the chain of this thought. So when I hit send, let's go. That is it. The reaction is updated. It is back down to three. And SSJ3's comment is gone. Anyways, guys, just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. If anyone's having difficulty with producing a final product with their module, they can always refer back to my work on GitHub. There will be a link in the description box below. To further that, once you go to my GitHub, you can see what I did, you can follow my relevant paths, you can take note of the comments I've made. They will point out key indicators on what and what not to do. And with that, all I have to say is thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting me through my bootcamp journey. It's been a intense one. I've never experienced such an incredible workload and I'm very happy with the results thus far. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching.